Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to do my cappies. We're going to do my cappies. So, I'm going to read your energy and then external energy, okay? Because that was not the plan. But that's what Spirit kind of just guided me to do. So, if it works that way for you guys, great. If not, then... I will let you know, but I'm pretty sure that's what they're going to have me do. So, let's see what's going on with my cappies. Actually, it's what I'm going to do anyway because it only actually makes sense. I don't want to get the energy twisted. Who's who, you know? So, let's see your energy. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Going on with my Capricorns. All right, you got the Nine of Cups. You got the King of Cups. You got the Two of Pence. And Judgment. Whoa. You got the Knight of Wands and the Two of Swords. All right, so and the Nine of Cups was actually reversed. Okay, so all the cards, can you see them? So what this is saying to me right off the bat, you're not happy with your situation that you're in. Okay, um, with the King of Cups here, this just got really loud. The King of Cups here is what well, it's got to be you guys' energy okay right now you're upset you're sad okay you're pouring your cup out you know to me this is not sharing emotions i mean the king of cup usually shares emotion tells you things but i mean this one looks upset right now over a situation definitely not happy i think they were used to being catered to me this is you know I don't know if in the past you guys were a bit arrogant when it came to something. But to me, what this is saying is that you guys are just not happy right now about a situation. Because it's almost like you're saying goodbye. But to me, it's almost like you're saying goodbye to the past too, okay? Um, trying to regain your footing, your balance, okay? So... Either you want somebody to forgive you or vice versa with judgment here, forgiveness, or or you want to give a second chance to somebody. You're considering whether or not to give somebody a second chance here is what's happening. I also can look at this as you have two people fighting over you. And you're just kind of stepping aside and saying... You know, let, let the divine handle this situation because right now it looks like you want no part of it. But in, in, in a way, I think you also realize that it doesn't work that way either, you know, because you really feel like you do need to reach out. You know, to me, like I said, I really truly feel like you're letting go of the past. It's time to ground yourself, balance out, you know, every aspect of your life. And right now you're deciding whether or not to relay a message, to send a message. To me, you want a second chance with something. But you just don't know if you can send that message. Because this is a messenger, but it's like... So maybe you're done, since your back is turned, maybe you're done being indecisive. Okay. Um, so let me see about this Two of Swords. That's the only one I really need to clarify. Two of Swords. Two of Swords. Yeah, it's the sun. So that's that's what it is. It's it's clarity. You're gonna no longer be indecisive. Unless you're dealing with a Leo, but I don't see it that way. This is this is 
to me, this is, yeah, see what strength at the bottom. This is saying, you know, it's almost like you got the clarity. You let the divine make that decision for you in a way. You, you were done fighting or letting people fight over you or whatever it was, you let it go. You saw the light, okay? You just want happy back in your life. So to me, it looks like you're about to um, reach out to somebody. Because you definitely want a second chance. Okay, so let's find out what's going on with the external energy. And so, see, you're unhappy now. You're, you're going towards your happy, okay? The battle, like the battle's over. You're waving the flag. All right, you're done being indecisive. So congratulations. I wish you the best in your journey. So external energy, external energy. You know, we got the hangman. We got the queen of cups. So to me, you know, we got the ace of wands and the king of swords. So what's external to you right now is, is somebody hung up whether or not they want to cater to a situation because their emotions are going to be to me right now what this is saying is let's like see the emperor reverse she's whoever you're dealing with who it looks like whoever you want this second chance with she's the lid she already took the lid off before she's already expressed how she's felt she's already done this so this is again somebody you know okay and right now she feels like why would i want to put the time and effort in why would i want to cater to somebody when i got nothing out of it okay why would I want to have that new stock? Because she's actually looking up, all right? So you put no action into something. She's losing, you know, she's either losing her patience with you or she's already lost her patience with you. It looks like she's like, fuck this. I'm dealing with somebody who's way too indecisive and doesn't know how to take action when it comes to something. She's ex She already expected that action to come in. She already expected communication. He or she. But the way this looks to me, being all gentlemen, okay, and the gentleman being here and here, I don't know if that, this, I don't think she's closed off because the lid is not on, okay? So the King of Pence reversed. So. You know, at one point, she really looked at you in a, in a, in a, as a very mature person who could speak what they wanted to talk about, somebody who was solid, somebody who had their shit together. And now it's, you know, no communication. She lost her patience with you. You know, there was no effort. Which would make sense that there was no communication up here. Because now you want a second chance. You were obviously indecisive. You know, the Queen of Cups, she knew. She knew what was going on. Well, she might not necessarily knew what was going on. But she, she knew enough where she stopped. You know. So now it's, you know. Even her thoughts are a little confused. So I don't know if you already came in or if this is what's going to take place. She's she's going to be hung up. When you communicate, she's not going to know what to do. But she'll be enlightened. To me, I feel like there's very nurturing energy here. You're dealing with somebody who's very creative. And knows how to kickstart things. Regardless of what, what went down. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. And I will tell you that this is this is like um it was like cancer. You got a life partner on the board. And can't my cancerians, they had them side by side, and, and you have them side by side too. I just realized that. All right, so it's um what did I clarify? Oh, the Queen of Cups. It was and it was reversed, it was the Ten of Wands. Um, exhausted, no, no longer is even looking at the option of carrying weight because whatever went down between you guys, to me, 
this mama carries weight regardless. The two of you are exhausted. So the two of you, you're looking at each other so exhausted right now. Um, but she carries weight. But the Queen of Cups never minds that type of weight. Tell me about the hangman. You know, it's the four of wands. So, you know, this is a solid foundation. I, I don't know. Definitely a twin on the board too, but... To me, it's considering whether or not to let you into their home. Whether or not to build a foundation again. So it looks like you guys have a lot to talk about. Because it looks like my cappies definitely want a second chance with somebody. And it could be a Cancerian. Well, it could be an Aries, a Cappy. Another fellow Cappy. It could be an Aquarian. could be a Pisces. There's, there's plenty of signs. Leo, Aries. Yeah, I don't need to even go there because this is energy. But um, that's you guys' scenario. So these cards right here, it's like the shits and giggle cards. Okay. It might not even relate to the spread. It's additional messages. Additional messages. Now, again, this could be for my cappies or it could be for the cross watcher. You know, you got winning. You got a good thing going. So, oh, whining. No, winning. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. Okay. So, like I said, it does look like it can be victorious here with the sun being the outcome card and her thinking about a foundation. I mean, it looks serious to me. It looks like you got life partners on the board, okay? So, it's basically saying you somebody's got a good thing going here. Looks like um, if you guys chose to work on this, it could prosper. You are being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. Some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. So to me, the shady shit's energy. Negativity. It's something. Okay? So, don't let that, don't, don't let your issue fuck shit up. Alright, good shit's about to go down. So, I wish you guys the best. Bye, guys.